Welcome to episode 248 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. Today I'm coming to you live from sunny Palm Beach, Florida, where we're talking about content communication and why it matters to you. So I'm at the Modern Retailing Conference, and uh, it has historically been a conference that has revolved around data and analytics. And this year, Brian Pash has integrated, uh, who organizes the event and has uh, a pretty substantial consulting and events business in the automotive industry, decided to uh, in involve a creative track. So um, I kind of like blew the conch shell like Anchorman and uh, brought my business partner Kyle Mountseer in, and then we kind of got our crew, Darren Doan and Nathaniel Grecklick and Ali Pinion, and we, we kind of assembled this little cadre of creatives so that we could talk not only to some creatives in the industry, but also, and I think probably more importantly, to some of the managers, general managers, owners that are looking at content as uh, in, in a different way than they have been before. And the principle, there's been so much lively conversation. There's been so much interaction, a lot of laughs. It's fun to get on the stage and kind of turn, turn a, a normally buttoned up conference into a little bit of a, of a Beastie Boys show. And, uh, you know, it's good to break the noise. But the main point of all the things that we're talking about is the fact that content needs to communicate something. It needs to say something that matters to someone else. There definitely is this idea of, like, you have to start making content. You have to start putting it out there. Obviously, I make a lot of content. I've been doing it for a while. Um, making it doesn't necessarily get easier. I mean, probably like the logistics of it gets easier, but the decision and the grind of making content doesn't necessarily get easier. But one of the things that um, I think makes it more meaningful and makes the, makes the results of it better is the fact that I've kind of leaned more into creating content to say something that matters as opposed to just creating content. There are different types of content. You know, we just broke it down in, in one of the workshops that we talked about, and we re basically broke it down into four areas. We said, number one, you can make content that is brand content that is, you know, so this is basically talking about values, talking about ideals, talking about value propositions maybe. But the, the point of the brand content is to get someone to move a little closer to you because you made them feel a certain way or affiliate with you in a certain way um, or kind of vibe with you in a certain way. That's brand content. The next one is transactional content. I like to call it sales content. This is content where you're talking about a product or service, there's a call to action, there may be a price, there's some benefits. Basically what you're doing is trying to get people to buy something and transact. So you have brand content first, then you have sales content. And then there's like this third category, which you know is kind of like a mix. It's kind of crossfade between the two where you have a brand piece, but then there's also a call to action at the end of it. One of the things that happens a lot with this type of content, and I think there's a lot of confusion, where you will make a piece that you think is brand and is talking about brand and values and all that. And then at the end, you throw this, you throw this right hook in. And all of a sudden, it's a little jarring. You're like, by the way, we're selling this thing for this much money. Click here now. And all of a sudden, you realize, like, oh, I was actually being sold to. So, you know, knowing that that content is okay, but knowing that that isn't brand content, it's actually partially sales content, is important as well. Finally, there's another little principle, another little piece of content we just labeled other, and basically this is content that's just fun. It's just, it might be trendy, it might be uh, something fun that people might find funny or engaging or entertaining, and that kind of content is uh, fun to make too and important to make too because, you know, you never know what's, gonna, what's going to work in any day and age. Gary Vaynerchuk, who you know I pay a lot of attention to, had the opportunity to work with for a number of years as in his Vayner Mentors program, just talked about the difference in what's going on with algorithms and how content is actually throttling up and becoming popular. Back in the day, the only strategy was like consistent content over time, kind of has to look and feel the same. What that'll do is, you know, build some, some consistency and reliability into your brand. And over time, that'll build your following in your community. Now, because of the way the algorithms are, you can actually have one piece of content hit that is different than all your other pieces of content and it could throttle you up and you have a million views in, in just a matter of hours if people really like it. And so the ability to, to kind of get discovered has changed quite a bit. However, the execution, what actually comes from those things is still like the rest of life. You can have a good moment, you can have a good day, you can have um, something that hits, but if there's not substance behind it or a second or third piece of content that gives the people something 
that that is similar to kind of the reason they tuned in in the first place. Or if they can't back in to the other content you've been making, then they're just gone, right? Here today, gone tomorrow. 15 minutes of fame, as we used to call it, now can easily become 15 seconds of fame. And so, you know, the reason I want to talk about that this week, all of this this week, is that I know you're paying attention to this podcast because you're on a trajectory in life. I know you're paying attention to this podcast because there's something about the things that I talk about or the way that I go about these things that has connected with you as a person, right? Not even, doesn't have to be a professional. It can just be a person. And I hope when I talk about clarity, I talk about that being perspective on what is actually, you know, matter, matters to your life and give you some perspective on where you are on the map so you can keep going in the direction that you're going. And I just think that making content that is intentional, making content that is engaging to you, and really just making content that helps you get more clarity to what you're doing, I think it's a good decision for you. Now, granted, I know that's a blanket statement. I don't know everybody's situation, and maybe, maybe it isn't. Maybe, you know, like just listening to the, the podcast and consuming some content is what you need to give you kind of that drip feed, you know, to, to give you another step and another step. But let me encourage you with this. Just make something this week. And when you make it, do it in a way that is intentional. I'm going to make something that kind of reflects what I believe today. I'm going to make something that is for someone who may see this and I want them to walk away with a feeling. I want them to walk away with an encouragement. I want, want them to walk away with a laugh. And make a piece of content and put it out there. And if you're in a business of making content, or if you're you know, managing things for a business that you know, sells whatever, it could be a car, it could be a dog leash, it could be coaching service, fitness training, whatever, understand that when you're making content, first of all, you have to be a content creation company if you want your business to continue to succeed. It is a disproportionate opportunity for you to grow your network, grow your inbound, and also grow your company culture, attract people to work for your company, and move people closer to you that you otherwise didn't know existed. I actually met someone last night who says, I've been ignoring your content in my feed for the last six months, and now that I've seen you in person is really the first time I'm engaging with it. And that blew my mind. I've been making stuff, and they've been seeing it and not engaging with it, but it still made an impact so that when we, they did see me, I was on a stage or I was at, in a keynote or a workshop, they were like, I need to go say hi. So, you know... With your content, whether that's just a personal piece that you're making and maybe only your family is going to see it because you have a private Instagram account, or if you're running a content strategy for a business and your goal is to make 50 more pieces of content, just right now, make one thing. Make one thing right now. Maybe it's an encouragement. Maybe it's sharing a funny story. Maybe it's sharing something that you've learned. Maybe it's sharing a little tip. Maybe it's sharing, you know, a little feature about, you know, some product that you love that you're like, I just want to say, I use this thing every single day. I don't know if I'm alone, but I love the way it does this. But when you go into content, when you go into life, make something that says something. Communicate something. And I hope that you communicate that through a piece of content today. I'm about to sign off here, go back into a conference and make a whole lot more content. Hopefully that says something. Hopefully I connected with you today. And let me just say, I see you. I'm glad you're here with me in this podcast. And we have a lot of work to do still and a lot of good times ahead. I'll see you next week.